I am a professional sport player, or as other people might say, unemployed. Throughout the years, I have managed to reach the very pinnacle of my field, but that success comes at a heavy price. This guy sucks. He isn't even good at Spore. You're just a fraud. You should really stop playing Spore. I've seen three-year-olds better at the game. This video made my eyes go blind. The relentless criticism down in the YouTube comment section is often too hard to bear. And that's because you all think you're so clever. Coming up with your little ideas like, Ooh, ooh, Jude, make birds in Spore. Hey Jude, make Shrek in Spore. Ooh, Jude, make my grandma in Spore. Yeah, well I don't know your grandma, and even if I did, I'd need to ask her permission first, okay? Alright, fine. Today is your lucky day, audience. I will take it upon myself to try out all of your suggestions one by one. Some could be genius, some of them could be terrible. In fact, let me rephrase that. Most of them will be terrible. But, without further ado, let us jump straight in to the 2008 life simulation game, Spore. <clears throat> okay, here we go, suggestion number one. Make a pickle on Spore. Oh my god, this is gonna be a long video. So we're starting off pretty abstract here, but thankfully pretty basic as well. Because, for those who don't know, a pickle is basically just a green tube. I mean, I don't know what you were expecting. Can it move around? Yeah, sure, it can move around. Uh, backwards, because I accidentally put its face on the wrong side of its body. Make a turtle in Spore. Here we go, this is a nice suggestion. Now, the most important part of a turtle, of course, is the shell. And the issue I face here is that in Spore, shells don't exist. Therefore, I had to do a bit of creative thinking, and I decided to use a very big hat instead. The overall effect of this, I think, is very pleasing on the eyes. He's an adorable little fella, and oh god, they're trapped inside of each other, oh god, oh no! Bug boy, we need you to make a horse in Spore. Well, okay, but only because you need me to. Horses have notoriously difficult proportions to get right. But if I'm completely honest here, I think I nailed it. What I'm looking at here is a beautiful and majestic stallion. Despite that though, I can't help feeling it's missing something. Something that I can't quite put my finger on. Make a long course in Spore. Oh my god, yes! That's it! The answer was so simple! I can't believe I've been so blind! We need to be long! Long horse, long horse, long horse, long horse? Okay, on second thoughts, this creature is pretty scuffed. Like the fact that for some reason its its legs extend and retract based on where it's standing. Also, just look at it running. I mean, I don't know guys, I don't think this is the one. Make spiders. Okay, now this one is interesting because I don't know if you guys know this about spiders, but those guys have like seven or eight legs. Unfortunately, Spore's mechanics works in a way that means that every leg on one side of a creature's body moves at the same time. So it just looks a bit weird. It has eight legs, but it walks as if it's got two. Play Spore as a really tiny man. This is good actually, because in real life, I'm like a strong eight foot seven. So role-playing as a really tiny man in Spore is just gonna open my eyes to some new perspectives. Plus, just look at this little guy. He's so clever, he can pick up sticks on his own, and he can do a little dance as well, what an enterprising little man. Make a Pokemon in Spore. Very unspecific, this suggestion, but thank you for not tying me down to any of the 898 available options. Now excuse me while I search for hours through my Pokedex. I decided in the end to choose Snorlax because he is... funny. And I think it ended up pretty much perfect. One small issue that may crop up is that apparently Snorlax needs to eat at least 900 pounds of food a day, which, by my calculations, is about 938 tins of beans. Whew, <sighs> that's a lot of beans. Make Yoshi in Spore. I see we're continuing down the line of cartoon characters here, and Yoshi is a good one. He's Mario and Luigi's greatest companion, and so what's to say that he won't make a great companion in Spore? Oh. Yeah, I think if Yoshi looked like this in the actual series, Mario and Luigi would probably have filed a restraining order against him in, like, episode 2. Make Spongebob in Spore. Okay, how the hell am I supposed to make Spongebob when the game doesn't have any squares in it? I'm working with blobs only here. Like, this isn't gonna work, see? Oh, great. 
Look what you've done. This is what you've created. This one's on you. Are you happy now? Oh, how far we've fallen. Look, let's just move on. Can you make Among Us in Spore? No! Please do a Spore game where you make a rat forever make the rat please. Well, first of all, that's very polite of you. I appreciate you saying please. Manners go a long way on this channel. So yes, of course I can make a rat. I think it's pretty obvious here that I've modelled this rat in particular off the fat one from Ratatouille. I'm sure you'll all agree it's an exact replica and we can all appreciate the artistry behind it. Okay, good, moving on. Do penguins in Spore? Now, speaking of artistry actually, I think what's really missing from these creatures is a good backstory. So how about we try and come up with something of substance here? <clears throat> okay, here we go. Peter the penguin was doing what he did every single day. Standing beside his nest, dreaming of greater things. Peter had an affinity for the open seas, and his biggest goal in life was to be the captain of his very own pirate ship. Oh, wait a second, this story has real potential. I need to save this for an actual video. Okay, quick, I'm on a roll here. What's, what's the next one? Make a breadstick in Spore. And then someone has commented below this, Bread Confederation for the win. Now, I don't really know what the Bread Confederation is. Maybe it's a sort of union in which all forms of bread can come together. You know, maybe there's the baguette faction and the garlic bread faction. But as for the breadsticks, I really don't think there's much potential there. I don't really know how I'd make a story out of just a breadstick. Oh. Oh no, wait. This could work, actually. <clears throat> okay. Bernard Breadstick was the breadiest of all the breadsticks. Make a car in Spore. Right, again. How on earth am I supposed to do that? Is what I would be thinking if I hadn't accidentally installed a mod that lets me give my creature wheels. Um, unfortunately these wheels do have to be attached to the end of some legs. And also, it's still not very easy to make the rest of the car, so I guess this will have to do. Let's just pretend. Uh, wow, the new Tesla model sure looks great, right guys? Make Derek Zoolander Merman in Spore, but make him flop around like a fish. Am I having a stroke? Okay, there's a lot to unpack here. Let's take it step by step. So the first part of this request is to make Derek Zoolander, the main character from the film Zoolander and of course Zoolander 2. I think maybe this person has overestimated my level of detail when it comes to recreating celebrity personalities in Spore, but I guess this will do? Then the second part of this is to make Derek Zoolander a merman for some reason. Is there like a side plot in which Zoolander becomes a mermaid or something? I watched this film one time on a coach during a school trip, so apologies if I'm not up to date on the lore. Oh god, this is by far the worst thing I have ever made. Why is it moving like that? Stop, please. Okay, now finally I have to make him flop like a fish. Well, I wouldn't say this is exactly flopping, but he is doing some sick flips, so that'll have to do. Reach into the depths of your madness and create the most cursed creature in Spore. Ah, you see, this is a really easy one, so what you want to do to make the most cursed creature is make Derek Zoolander Merman in Spore, but make him flop like a fish. 10 out of 10, can you make if sharks should walk? Okay, this is a bit more reasonable. I, I can try making a walking shark. So first what I think I want to do is make a normal shark, so it's something like this- Oh my god, what is going on with that? Okay, let's try that again, yeah, something like this is perfect. Now we just have to add some legs to this, and there we have it, perfect! I quite like this one actually, it's simple, it's not gonna have any sort of stupid backstory behind it, it's just a shark with legs, and nothing is gonna change that. Can you make now shark? You see, shark aren't the bad guy. They are just misinterpreted. They attack people, of course they do, but they do accidentally, thinking human are seals. And also, people that die from shark attack are because of blood loss. But do you know who are the true evil? That right. Dolphin. Dolphin not only is some if not only animal that have morals, and that can be evil, but they will also attack shark. That why. Shark should get revenge on this, guys. Now that's a story! Woohoo! Wow, I was on the edge of my seat there. I hope the next suggestion is as gripping as that one. Make a buff fish. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>